hospital next week. The veteran politician celebrated his 95th birthday at a Durban hospital, surrounded by close family members only. He was admitted a few weeks ago after he fell ill and later developed complications during the course of his treatment. ENCA senior reporter Sipa Mandla Goge caught up with Prince Butelezi's son, Prince uh, and IFP President Belenkosi Klavisa on the occasion of the birthday. And he filed this report. A milestone for the veteran politician. Members of Prince Mangosutu Butelezi's family say they are happy he's recovering and will have a small birthday celebration for him. There are plans for a double celebration once he's discharged from hospital. It's a very special day for us. I think today it's very simple. We are just, it's just us, the children, the grandchildren and the great-grandchildren. We're just going to be with him there without too much fanfare and, and too much noise. It's a hospital after all. But it's a nice, quiet affair. We just want him to feel the warmth. The next best thing to, if he was at home, really, that he looks around, he's surrounded by this love of his own family. So we are going to do that. And of course, the typical things of cutting the cake, we're going to crack a bottle of champagne, make sure, of course, it's non-alcoholic. The family says it's hurt by disinformation and false reports about his health status. I can't tell you how the pain we have endured from, uh, I mean, misleading the fake news, I mean, which is bred about him, where, you know, you say someone is high profile, but, you know, at the end of the day, people tend to forget that he's still, he's still a human being and the people around him are human beings. I mean, you cannot imagine how painful it is normally when you hear that your father has passed away, uh, it's being hidden by the family. I mean, it's very painful. And again, another one where they were saying that, uh, you know, the family is at loggerheads arguing whether to turn off the machine. So honestly, it's, it, as I say, there are so many others. IFP President Velenko Sinishabisa says the party is relieved that its founder is recovering well and is set to be released. And we are looking forward to his full recovery, that he resumes his duties, both the political duties and his duties as the traditional prime minister to the Zulu king. We want to thank God for the prayers which he listened to because the past days were very difficult days but thank you, Lord, for having listened to us. While the family acknowledged and thanked the nation for praying for Schenge, it's got one more appeal. When people say, what would you like to be the epitaph on here? He always says, if it just simply says, here, here lies someone who died fighting for his nation and then trying to the best for his nation. So I just would like to take the opportunity to say to the nation, thank you. And at the same time say, please, don't stop praying for him because he still needs those prayers and good wishes even after he has recovered. Prince Tutugo says family members will continue persuading the hardworking veteran politician to reduce his workload and just relax and enjoy life. Sipamandla Koke, Deben.